Hey everybody, how's it going? Uh, do not try this at home. Um, I'm only doing this out of convenience. It's easier to vent, I guess, while I am working. Um, so uh, I, I've done this while driving before, uh, but I swear to you, I am an excellent driver. I think I kind of have to be. Uh, so some really interesting news has been brewing the last couple days. Um, it may have very wide-ranging implications if uh, successful. And uh, the issue with it is it very well might require a second term for the Biden administration. But who knows? Like There can be a lot that gets done in uh, a year. But I digress. Uh, so apparently... Mexico is offering the United States a deal. We will help you, Americans, with border security at the U.S.-Mexican border if you do the following couple things. First off, you got to help us with the Latin American countries. A lot of them are kind of hell holes right now and they're causing Mexico a lot of problems as well um, Mexico wants the US to help stabilize these countries like Guatemala for instance Honduras uh, I say Guatemala in particular because Guatemala just had an election and they elected a pretty left of center um, guy, I, his name escapes me at the moment, but he's uh, kind of going through a lot of trouble right now. See, Guatemala, like many of the Latin American countries down there, is uh, it's very corrupt, and they are, there are attempts being made to subvert the election and try to just try to get rid of this guy basically but this guy is actually very popular and he ran on a very solid platform uh, that aims to uh, scrub out a lot of the corruption in uh, Guatemala uh, if that makes sense and so Mexico's like, you gotta you got help with these uh, countries because we're, we're dealing with them and they're causing us problems as well. The second thing is to uh, normalize relations with Cuba. And that's, that's a pretty big deal because they, there's really no reason at this point in time for um, the U.S. and Cuba to have a bad relationship, I guess. Um, a good relationship with Cuba would be very beneficial uh, because we're basically on good terms with everybody else in, in uh, the, the North American region, for you know, like more or less. Because the thing about Cuba, I don't know how many of you remember the uh, the Sonic attacks that happened some years back, like maybe twenty. 17 or something like that and since then like our uh, relationship has kind of been weakened with Cuba it was getting better under Obama but then that during uh, Trump's uh, tenure I, I believe kind of soured our relationship but the thing is um, I think in like uh, the you know recent years like the past year or so the narrative surrounding those apparent sonic attacks that uh allegedly damaged the hearing of u.s diplomats uh during a meeting in cuba apparently that that, that narrative's falling apart um i think there was some reporting done on it and it turns out like uh those so like those 
a apparent sonic attacks probably weren't real. I don't know the details, but I do remember uh, hearing about that. So that alone would have uh, big implications. And to tie it to border security um, is, uh, you know, it, it, it's smart. It's politically smart. And uh, they added one more thing, Mexico did. You gotta normalize relationship, your relationship with Venezuela. That was already underway. This would, uh, yeah, yeah, this is all, this is all very, very good politically. And so Mexico will help uh, secure the U.S.-Mexico border if um, if the U.S. Uh, follows through on these uh, on these terms. What I take away from it is, yeah, this would be great because even even Democrats won't are, are starting to harp away at uh, border security and whatnot. And Jesus, stupid people. Not me though. I'm smart. <laughs> um, this has been a an issue. Like uh, border security in general is it's like the scapegoat of Republican politicians, Republican pundits. And I'm curious if if this deal is manifested, will Republicans go along with it? Because for the longest time, they've, they, they've been like, Biden's too weak on the border, Biden's too weak on the border, there's, there's too much there's too much immigration, Biden's border policies are failing, even though they're really not that different from Trump's. And so, will they actually go through with it? I don't know if they will. Because the way that the current Republican Party functions is endless scapegoating and obstructionism. What what happens if the Republican Party of today runs out of things to scapegoat, to fear monger about? Because if there's If there's a secure border and illegal immigration slows to a halt, what, like, the Republicans are going to have to make up something else to scapegoat, honestly. But, um, it's actually progressing really fast because apparently the State Department is in Mexico right now. Um, this could be, this could be really big. Um, the issue is, the, the there, there is the, the, the potential of a significant factor of the Republican Party standing in the way of it. I don't think it'll be enough to matter, but it'll be the same types that just don't want to give Biden a win of any sorts because they're absolutely psychotic. And... Could Biden even win re-election to see through uh, this deal? Because it's not going to take a year. That's 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 for sure. You know, I'm so over the administration uh, myself. But um, who knows? Uh, I just wanted to like vent about that. I think it'd be a, a really interesting thing to see happen. Um. I mean, for crying out loud, the United States royally screwed up these Latin American countries uh, in the 20th century. So the least we can do is lend a helping hand because the people hopping our border aren't coming from Mexico. They're coming from these countries that we tore apart just south of Mexico. So, uh, yeah, uh... Thanks for watching, and uh, stay tuned for more.